السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. I'm very honored to be with you, uh, brothers and sisters, or sisters and one brother, <laughs> or two brothers. الحمد لله. Yes, I said yesterday uh, I'm discriminated on your seat. And uh, more than 30 years ago, more than 30 years ago, we were dreaming about Kosovo, we were dreaming about Bosnia, we were dreaming about Montenegro, we were dreaming about Macedonia. My first visit to Yugoslavia was in 1982. When I was coming back from Egypt as a medical doctor, I was going there for a holiday, and they said half of my holiday was my family in Egypt, the other half I visit Muslims in Europe. And I discovered Bosnia at that time. And I went to visit Sarajevo, Belgrade, Zagreb. And I found how much Muslims in Bosnia or suffering <coughs> under the communist regime at that time. And this was a wake-up call for me before we started Islamic Relief in 1984. Two years, two years before the creation of Islamic Relief in 84, it is one of the wake-up calls came to me from Bosnia when I looked at you and started the thing that we need to do something. 84, we started the Islamic League. We did not know that we are going to work for Bosnia or for this region, the fragmented Yugoslavia. But we were expecting what happened in the 90s, 1992, 1993, 1994, 1995, till the peace came and we thought that the war is over in Bosnia and Herzegovina. But 1999 was another wave, unfortunately. But the, the nation or the people who were very stubborn, adamant, and do not want to become refugees were you. One million people, or 900,000 something, uh, were refugees in Albania. Yes, Caucasus. In Caucasus. Yes. And we built two camps in Shkodra. Ten camps. One of them is 400, and the other tents, and the other one 330 tents. We filled the first one with your fathers and mothers. But we failed to fill the second camp. You know why? Because you decided not to become a refugee. And you walk back. The United Nations was trying to make a program for refugees, displaced people, water, sanitation, to raise funds. But you take your car and went straight back to either totally destroyed houses or partially destroyed houses. But you said to yourself, and you said to the whole world, we are not going to become refugees. And the whole world was shocked by the determination, by the message that you deliver to people who think, treat you like refugees or like displaced people, and they start to feed you and take photographs of you. And alhamdulillah, our first project in Pristina was to bring a lot of tents. We took from the Saudi government more than 1,200 tents from the Hajj. Then we took from the United Nations the plastic sheeting. If you remember, you're too young, you're 20 years, 25 years, still babies. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we were growing up, inshallah. And at that time, we were giving the plastic sheeting to women who were very strong and determined to build their family back again. And you did it with plastic sheeting. And this is something you have not witnessed because you were very, very little at that time, very young at that time. But your mothers 
Most of them was not born even. That's, all of them. Yes. <laughs> and actually, but the mothers and the grandmothers and the grandparents were doing incredible work to let UN and other agencies to review again that we are the Kosovan and not going to be treated as refugees. Hi head, be proud of your history, be proud of your culture, be proud of your value, be proud of your future, be proud of your race, be proud of your uh, language, be proud of your religion. Because religion is God giving gift to the people he chooses to make them following him. It's not giving it to anyone and they give it to you. That's why we are here with Sister Nassim. She is my future in Canada because I'm stepping down from Canada and she's rising up. But the sun is rising and the sun is setting. And his brother uh, Osama is the current CEO, one of the youngest CEO of Islamic League globally, and he got his job last month. And the first journey he decided to make is to come to you. <coughs> Not to teach you, to learn from you. Keep teaching him what he needs to know and keep inspiring him because she will be the one fight for you on the board. He will be the one who found for you in the community. Okay, and I brought them to protect me. Okay, to shield me and connect me to you again. Thank you, sisters and the few brothers. <laughs> <laughs> there are fewer even in Albania. Inshallah, anyway. I know that. And I'm very inspired now with your determination, with your vision, with what you have done and what you'll be doing. And they want you to shine not only for Kosovo, to shine for humanity. Doctor, can you please tell us uh, you were the first that came here in 1999 after the Kosovo War? And no, what, during even. Uh, yeah, uh, what was your expectations and uh, what was the development of Islamic Relief? Because there was how, no Islamic how, Relief. How do you see Islamic Relief Kosovo uh, 22, 23 years later? Yeah, there was no Islamic Relief at that time. It was Islamic Relief in Bosnia. But we were anticipating something would happen in Kosovo, unfortunately. was a few, not the many. Our, the Serbs are our brothers and sisters. But the few hot-headed terrorists, Chitnik, who created the war in Bosnia were trying to create here again, of course. There was no presence for Islamic Relief in, in, in Kosovo, but we were anticipating that we were very ready. We, as Islamic Relief, were spreading the message of the Balkan from 1990, 1991, with one of our colleagues, his name is, was is Asata, is a journalist. Yeah, Asata. And, uh, and uh, I am. I was going to the whole Gulf to tell even the people there that something called Bosnia, Kosovo, Albania, and this area. And we started as Islamic Relief to bring people to this region. 91, 92, got people from Macedonia, uh, Adnan Ismaili and Sherkasi, uh, uh, what's his name, Mr. Sherkasi? Is it Suleiman uh, Sherkasi? Uh, I can't remember. Went to Bosnia, to, to came to UK. And a lot of people came from UK to help understand, even to have family in this country, in Bosnia, Albania. Our first country director in Albania is married to Albania, was Egyptian, and he's living now in Canada. And you can connect him, Osama, Osama Lail. And his brother was in Bosnia, or she has his family in Bosnia, as a Bosnian. So Albanian family, Bosnian family, and, we, no, you're married now, you're out of question. Right? <laughs> we need some videos. You still have three? three no, 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 we don't have it. We don't have it, we have one. One, 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 so this how we did not have any resources. But 1991, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90
about what you have been doing for Kosovo and what you have doing for Albania and what you will be doing later on. So yeah. And what Kosovo, the, Kosovo office, uh, doctor, will start with uh, Serbia and Montenegro very soon. Inshallah. Within months. That's my dream to visit there. Inshallah. What's your uh, final message to our My final to message Islamic is... Brief, Kosovo workers, our donors, is, is and, uh, my, help us grow. My final Kosovo. message is you, you are very hard working. Make all your project is community oriented. Make it to empower the people in the country. Make it to make to be productive. You know what I'm wearing? It's handmade, isn't it? By whom? Community people. Community. Who is in the community? Is the woman or the men? Woman. Woman. Oh, fine. I, yes, sure. I saw the woman making this <laughs> when I was visiting Bosnia in mean, 30 years ago. Weaving, you know, hand weaving? What's before weaving? When you get the, 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 the wood itself, the raw, and you start to ghazl, uh, then nask. You start to ghazl, I don't know what ghazl means, uh, before the weaving, what you do? Metier. 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 actually to be a part of your culture. Empower young people, empower women, empower also the minorities. Whether you have minorities here from our Serb brothers and sisters or any other minorities. Bush Nazis. Yes. And also Bush gypsy as well. You have gypsies here? Yeah, yeah we we'll go to visit some. Inshallah. Empower all of them and make them to love you. ولو كنت فظا غليظ القلب إلى فض الهان. With the character of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, he was very lenient because Allah wanted him to become very lenient. And he did, he asked them if you were rough and tough and dividing, they could have left you, Muhammad. It is the mercy in your heart because you are very kind to everybody. And Allah never said in this verse that everybody were Muslims or no Muslims. Work with the minorities, help them. Work with the municipalities, Baladiyya, help them, and stand with them. Islamic Leaf is still functioning in Bos in, in, in Chechnya after 1995-4, after 1999-war. You know why? You know why? You know why? Because we told Muhammad, not me, the organization, whenever you have anything, go to the local community leader and tell them this is your gift. You come with me to give it to the right holders, which is the Chechen. A cow, or a donkey, or a car, or anything. That's why when the war came and they closed all the organizations, Islamic people is still there from 1996, 95, up till 2022. Thank you very much for your message. Now, Sister Nassim, yeah. we have to listen to the wisdom of Sister Nassim, and she's a lawyer. She can speak excellent language far more better than my broken English. <laughs> Stand up, rise, Sister Nassim. Rise, please. Uh, thank you, Dr. Hemi. Assalamualaikum. It's such excellent. a pleasure to be here. Um, I'm learning from you all, from Dr. Hemi. This is the first time we've traveled together, and there's much wisdom that uh, we're all soaking up. The welcome that you've given us is warm. It shows your hearts, uh, whenever you have the right intention, inshallah, the reward is there. And I feel the intention from this Islamic Relief Kosovo. I've heard some of the programming that you've done, and it's, it, I look forward to learning more. It sounds amazing. Um, and, and you should all be so proud of what you've built here and what we will continue to build together, inshallah. And we need some cash. And so I hear you need some money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Allah, you need a lot of money. Not so. Allah, you don't speak. I speak. Because I'm, I'm wearing the hat. Okay. <laughs> Inshallah, I can't wait to tell the board about all that you've done here. Inshallah.
some of them, everyone. Uh, it's really, that. really good to be in your company. Um, I echo the words of uh, Sister Nassim and Dr. Hani. We feel honored and inspired uh, by being here. And more than what we're going to be able to contribute to you, I feel um, the intention is to really learn from you, learn from the history of this region. Uh, you know, this, this, the whole Balkans re region and this, um, this area, there's been a lot of tension. And going forward, the challenges are still great. Um, Islamic Relief, uh, the organization that Dr. Hani uh, started, um, has been deeply rooted in all of these local areas. And what that does is it gives the organization throughout the world the context um, in order to deliver programs in the best way possible to serve the people, uh, the, the locals, in, in the way with, with wisdom and with trust and effectiveness. So inshallah, we're here to, to just continue that tradition of learning about you, learning about your individual stories, what you're inspired by. And uh, inshallah, uh, as a global family, we truly are a, a family which leans on each other, which supports each other, learns from each other, um, and, and we continue uh, hoping to do that in the next few days that uh, we're, we're here with you. Uh, right. Thank you. It's not only learning, teaching, exchanging, it is funding also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank you very much for the message in the name of the Islamic Relief Kosovo. I, I thank you for your visit. We, we are Before really you honored. close down, and, uh, just give have them a one, last, one, stay one last in word. No, just one, 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 yes, one, of course. one last word. What you want them to remember about you? I'll, I'll tell you what you want to remember about Sister <laughs> Nassim. Yeah. She's, um, uh, she's one of the young um, leading lawyers in Canada and um, she has a history of standing up for uh, so human rights, of, of minority rights, of yeah, fighting the systemic uh, systems of oppression. Um, so uh, she's a, a courageous lawyer who stands up for the rights of, uh, of people and, uh, and so we're all uh, inspired by her and, and I feel wherever we travel inshallah be for, for young women to be empowered like that and to serve the community yeah? because you'll find a lot of professionals um, who are there to you know serve other interests serve themselves but those who stand up for justice to serve uh, serve the community is, is an inspiration so inshallah I hope some of you can get to know her um, a bit deeper and get inspired by her. What's your message, yeah? my, my message is listen um, young people need to stand up globally yeah? whether it's in Canada whether it's in Kosovo Bosnia we just came from Ethiopia um, the challenges of the world whether it's greed wealth inequality climate change uh, hatred for the other xenophobia uh, gender inequality all of these challenges are, are creating uh, systems of injustice and if it's not going to be us I see everybody most people here are, are young people if it's not going to be us who's going to rise up to these challenges rise up from serving our own needs and maybe even our own families but to caring and a life of service for others then who is it going to be um, and I want uh, all of us to again work together and inspire each other to um, give our life um, our energy uh, as a walk for the global community um, and, and that's my prayer, and, and inshallah, I, I hope we can all join in on that journey. Thank you very much. Wait, 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 wait. Just don't see it. Don't rush, don't rush. I'm not sure I can say anything better than what's already been said, inshallah. Whatever, um, whatever opportunity to help others we have is, is, is a gift from Allah. It, it allows us to uh, to do what he has planned and that's uh, in my life I've, I've been given opportunities to to help Muslims in law and but it's not through me it's it's I've been given that opportunity from Allah and this is the opportunity that we all have here and I know inshallah that Kosovo is going to do great things with the opportunities that Allah has given us to to allow his grace to flow through us inshallah okay. and for me last message you stand up for peace never again to let this region to blast never allow it build the community connect with everybody 
Islam is a religion of Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum that to everyone, wishing peace for everybody. Implement and apply peace no matter what. Because the Prophet came to build the community and he was the only Prophet sent by Allah who managed in his lifetime to build a state, a community. Prophet Abraham didn't. Moses was backstabbed by the Israelites when they crossed the sea. Jesus also, they failed to do that. Noah, after taking everybody and saving them, they backstab him again. Huh? And even, what's the other one? Uh, Abraham, Yusuf, uh, Noah. Uh, some. Yes. Yusuf was actually was not building community. But he was in Egypt to save the economy of Egypt. And he did save it. So Ibrahim, Nuh, Musa, Isa, and Muhammad. Muhammad was the only one who built community. And you have to tell everyone we build a very diverse, inclusive community. We do not discriminate against anybody. We do not sideline anybody. We do not ignore anybody. And we do not forget anybody. And we are ahead of time because we are the follower of the one who was inspiring humanity 1400 years ago and still his teaching is inspirational for humanity for thousands of years to come. Be very proud of this. Peace, building and prevent this area to go in conflict anymore. I've seen it in 1992-95. I've seen it everywhere and not anymore. You say with me, not anymore. We'll allow it to happen to non-Muslims or to Muslims. And we cry today for what unfortunately happening to the Ukrainian citizens. And we should pray for peace for Ukraine and the other places on earth, inshallah. Peace. 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 Community building. Community building. Community building. Yes, if you don't see me again, actually, this is your message, which I'm learning from Sister Nasim. I'm very proud to be following the footsteps of Brother Osama. But for you, each one of you should shine as a guiding star, not a shooting star. If you guide the traveler in the middle of the dark night, when there's no other light, can guide any traveler in the middle of the desert, but you. You are not a shooting star. You are a guiding, shining star. Peace and community building. Thank you for inspiring all of us. Thank you for inspiring all of us. Thank you for inspiring all of us. I love you. Say I love you. We love you. Raise your voice. We love you. We love you so much. Thank you so much. Say I love you. I love you. Each one of you, whether you are male or female, because you are all my daughters and brothers and sisters. I love you. And then what you say, Albania, I love you. You I love you, Tatua. Yes. Allah. Assalamu alaikum.